this morning on DC News Now, tracking a powerful nor'easter. A storm with heavy rain and gusty winds heading our way. What it means hour by hour for your weekend. Monumental fallout. The traffic and the transportation is, is, is probably the biggest um, uh, unknown here. Concerns bubbling up over how a new arena in Alexandria could impact the region. Plus, we're stretching your dollar. The hack that could save you hundreds of dollars on your car insurance. America arrive in Arlington National Cemetery this morning. We're live as volunteers get ready for the annual event. And problematic pets? How your cat may be causing problems you didn't even know about. You're watching the station covering all of the DMV. This is DC News Now. Good morning. Coming up on 6 o'clock right now on a Friday morning, starting you off with a live look outside. A cool start to the day, but Jackie will have a information about storms moving in over the weekend. But thanks for starting your Friday with us. I'm Tanaya Wright. All right, good morning to you. I'm Corey James. Shanika, she's tracking the roads for you this morning. We're going to check in with her in just a moment. But yeah, Jackie, she's definitely tracking the, the storms that are going to be moving in in a couple days. But before mm -hmm. we get to that, some warm weather also moving in as well. People should be able to enjoy that. Exactly. And I mean, also the warm air will be with us for that storm system that will be moving up the coast into our area. So that means it's going to be just mainly a rain event with the system yet again. If the colder air was in place, then it would be a different story around this time of the year. But we are tracking the colder air this morning, though, to start off your Friday. We're right at 20 in Manassas, 22 in Culpeper, low 40s though in Hagerstown. That's a little bit on the warmer side there. 34 right now in the district. Now later on today, mild mid to upper 50s. This is several degrees above normal for this time of the year, and we're tracking the mainly sun filled skies. Really a nice way to wrap up the work week. Nice start to the weekend too, but then Sunday DMV first warm day. We're tracking that rain moving in by the afternoon hours, and then it'll start to become windy, but it looks like Monday will be more on the windier side as well with some gustier winds. I'll more details on that coming up. But Shanika is here with the all important look at those roads. How's traffic right now? All right, TGIF, we made it to Friday and it is looking pretty good out there on the inner and outer loop in Northern Virginia. No worries right now. In the later hours of the morning, I keep saying that expect some delays and that mostly will be heading northbound on I-495. Uh, this is right near Braddock Road. Now a big look at what's happening and overall look 66 east and west and 95 north and southbound is looking good. The mixing bowl even in Maryland. Things are clear. Thank you, Shanika. Police in Rockville searching for the driver who they say hit three people and then just took off. Hey, Rockville police say the suspect is 44-year-old Walter Giovanni Marquez Avalez. They say this happened yesterday afternoon on East Montgomery Avenue. Authorities say there are three victims, a 79-year-old grandmother and her adult grandson, along with another man. According to police, one of the victims has been released from the hospital. The other two, though, remain in serious condition. I think really warning people to just stay vigilant, stay aware of your surroundings and be just generally safe. I think it could happen anywhere at any time. Marquez Avales is being charged with attempted murder and first degree assault. Officials say there is no threat to the community. If you have any information on where he is, you are asked to contact police. Your time right now is 602 commuter concerns over the proposal to bring the Wizards and the Capitals to Virginia. Alexandria Mayor Justin Wilson called traffic the biggest unknown in the proposal. People are concerned the new stadium will add existing issues on Route 1 and the GW Parkway. The traffic and the transportation is, is, is probably the biggest um, uh, unknown here. Route 1 is already kind of difficult to navigate uh, during rush hour, and that comes as a surprise to no one. Everybody acknowledges that. The proposal includes a parking garage with 2,500 spots. Mayor Wilson believes many people will use public transit to get to the new stadium. He argues that the nearest metro stop is not prepared for that much traffic. Meantime, businesses near Capital One Arena say they could be forced to leave if the teams do move to Virginia. Clyde's is a staple in the Chinatown neighborhood. A lot of fans pop in before and after games. Restaurant officials say they've been, quote, arm in arm with the Wizards and Caps for 18 years and that they're not likely to stay without the teams there. Coming right now with 603 happening today. DC police are working to make sure everyone makes it home this holiday season. A new campaign launching today to get impaired drivers off the roads. Our Lex Warris is live at police headquarters this morning. So Lex, tell us about this plan. <sighs> Right, well, it starts with some enforcement. D.C. police say they are cracking down on DUIs through the end of the year. 
This is a partnership with the DOT's Traffic Safety Administration, and it comes after we saw an increase in deaths on the roadway this year. As we continue through the busy season full of holiday celebrations, the police department is working to make sure no more lives are lost on the road, and the drivers who get behind the wheel while impaired are held accountable. You can expect to see this campaign in action starting today through the end of the year. D.C. Police Chief Pamela Smith said there is a zero tolerance for driving under the influence in the city. In a statement, Chief Smith said the holidays are a time for celebration and joy. Drunk driving jeopardizes not only your own life, but also those on the road with you. And D.C. police reminds people that driving under the influence is not limited to alcohol. They say even though it is legal to smoke marijuana here in the district, it is still illegal to get behind the wheel after doing so. Live in Washington, I'm Lex Suarez, D.C. News Now. Thank you, Lex. Starting on Monday, red line service between DuPont Circle and Gallery Place will be suspended, and this is going to be through December 30th. Now businesses in that area bracing for the possible impacts. WMATA says they chose this time to make the much-needed repairs due to a drop in ridership. Officials say they see a 40% decrease because of the holidays. One of those businesses include the downtown holiday market. Exhibitors say they still expect people to come out there. The Downtown Business Improvement District working to educate people on alternative methods of getting downtown. People coming downtown and shopping and eating, these are things that people can choose to do. We want to make it easier for them to choose these kinds of things to do. I mean, this is the best market in the whole area. It's definitely worth even a little bit of a hassle. Now again, the suspension will start Monday and last until December 30th. It will expand un to Union Station between December 22nd through the 24th. Well, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin is pushing to get teens and kids off TikTok. Yeah, Youngkin is introducing legislation to prevent people in Virginia under the age of 18 from using the app. He says TikTok is causing significant harm to children. Our children are losing the chance to cultivate essential social skills. They're encountering cyberbullying and they're isolated. There's substantial distraction in school, escalating depression. Duncan says this is all part of the right here, right now behavioral health plan and Duncan's new youth mental health strategy. Now he says the strategy will protect the privacy of kids under 18 from social media companies. He is also working to give parents the ability to limit their children's exposure to social media and the Internet. According to Yunkin, Virginia currently ranks 48th in the country for youth mental health. All right, time right now is 608. This morning, hundreds of thousands of holiday wreaths will be arriving at Arlington National Cemetery. This is all part of the annual Wreaths Across America ceremony, and it could impact your morning commute. Our Liberty Zabala is live at Arlington National Cemetery this morning with more on all of the preparations. And Liberty, this is a very special event. Good morning, Tanaya and Corey. Yes, especially very special and meaningful for you, Tanaya, with your father being here as well. So this is a great day. We're already starting to see some cars trickle in here this morning, but expect a potential traffic jam. There are cones here and barriers here as tractor trailers are expected to move in more than 250,000 reefs here to lay on the graves of our nation's fallen. An estimated 40,000 volunteers will be laying these wreaths all the way from Maine on the Arlington National Cemetery grave sites. Dominion Energy crews will also be working to build fencing in anticipation of large crowds. They are expecting thousands of holiday visitors at Arlington National Cemetery to honor and remember those who served and sacrificed for our country. You may see up to 75 tractor trailers carrying more than 21,000 boxes of these beautiful wreaths. It is an intense and major effort that could cause a lot of congestion around the cemetery. Arlington police say there will be some road closures and you may want to find an alternate route. And it will be getting very busy here in just a couple hours as crews start to move in. And Arlington police want to remind you that parking along Route 110 and Washington Boulevard is not allowed. For now, live here in Arlington, Liberty Zabala, D.C. News Now.